For many women, one of the biggest milestones in a woman's life is the birth of her of her first child. But what happens when starting a family doesn't go as smoothly as planned? As we celebrate Women's History Month, our Madeline Salinas spoke with a local woman about her struggles with infertility and emotional hardships that came with the journey to motherhood. When Destiny Lamitri and her husband got married back in 2019, they tried for about a year to get pregnant. Seeing no success in that year, her OBGYN referred her to a reproductive endocrinologist to try and figure out exactly what the issue was. Unfortunately, there's no diagnosis for, for me, so I have unexplained infertility, which is very frustrating. Usually if there is a diagnosis, we kind of know what to tackle, and we just have a lot of unanswered questions. In January of 2022, Lamitri turned to an IUI, or intrauterine insemination procedure, to boost her chances at getting pregnant. That first attempt failed. So did the second attempt in February, and the third one in March. Lamitri grew more discouraged with each attempt. So every time I would do an IUI, I'm like, okay, I am pregnant. And then I would start, like, in my head, imagining my baby shower. And then um, two weeks later, they'd be like, okay, it didn't work. OBGYN Dr. Jayshree Ellis says multiple attempts to get pregnant can have more than just a physical toll on a woman's body. We have to always remember is the emotional toll. That is probably the heftiest thing because it becomes a very stressful thing for a woman. There's that expectation, you know, of society, you know, family members asking you, oh, you guys have been married this long. Well, when are you going to start having children? At what felt like her last resort at starting a family, Lamitri and her husband turned to IVF, or in vitro fertilization. They had her first embryo transfer in August of 2022, but had a miscarriage by September. Her second attempt in January of 2023 led to her second miscarriage. I was just so scared at that point. I'm like, this is the third try, trying to be like hopeful, but once, once you're there, you're kind of numb. That third attempt worked and Lamitri is now 30 weeks pregnant and expecting her baby girl in May. She still has two viable embryos left that she says she plans to use to grow her family further. So that would be our next journey after, you know, we have um, this, this baby. We're still gonna be in the community because we still have our embryos frozen. When you have a, a patient who's pregnant or a patient who's trying to get pregnant, you develop a relationship with her, a bond with her. And it, she's more than just somebody that you're serving, but you actually want to see her happy and you want to see her family happy. Because oftentimes, too, the partners are involved and, and just as much as at stake for them. Madeline Salinas, 3 News.